Come September, Camden families will have two new schools where they can send their kids. They're Renaissance schools, hybrids of public and charter schools. Over the next five years, both could draw as many as 7,000 kids out of the Camden system, whose rock bottom graduation rates and financial troubles led to a state takeover last September. Payman Rahanafard is Camden's new school superintendent. Thank you so much for being with us today. Good to be here. Not everyone's happy about this. Well, look, at the end of the day, we're thrilled at the opportunity to present two new high quality school options in a school district that desperately needs high quality schools. So we're excited to be able to provide that option to students and families. Public school advocates have been negative about starting these um, hybrid charter schools. Right. I mean, there was one group in particular out of the suburbs of Jersey that criticized the announcement. And look, interest groups are interest groups. That for us, it's about what families need. What and are they afraid of? It's unclear. You know, they have uh, made some arguments about uh, legal issues with the announcement. And, I, you know, what I can tell you is that they're without merit for us. It's about high quality schools for students. Tell me and how these schools work. So as you mentioned, they're hybrid district charter mm -hmm. schools. So they're two unique qualities. One, unlike traditional charter schools, they actually serve a neighborhood. So any student family who lives in that defined neighborhood has a preference to that school, which is really exciting to be able to do that. And secondly, they come with uh, increased funding to provide new facilities. Uh, and for our school district, half of our buildings were developed before 1928. So we're in desperate need for higher quality facilities. What about uh, different teachers? Well, they'll have the opportunity to recruit their own staff, and uh, and so you know that's part of what they offer here: the the opportunity to have the autonomy to run great schools and to be able to hire their staff. I know that there are teachers in the community in the school district now who are being offered early retirement. That's correct. So there was. Uh, a bill that was recently approved by the legislature, still waiting for the governor's signature, that would allow for an early retirement program. Now, you said that the schools are badly in need of rebuilding or renovating mm -hmm. or starting over with. But these two new schools are going to be in um, temporary housing. Correct. Quonset hut things or trailer, whatever. Right. So, uh, so there are actually three Renaissance schools that are going to be opening their doors in the fall. One was approved. Uh, about a year ago, and each of them will figure something out in the short term, whether it's modular space. In the case of Master and Uncommon, we may potentially be able to find them actual facilities that they would be in temporarily uh, as they build their new facilities from the ground up. You mentioned Mastery and Uncommon. Uncommon right. Schools is one of the companies helping you to, to build a Renaissance well, School. Not the profits. other one is. They're not profits, correct. I'm sorry, I yeah, said sorry. companies, right. nonprofits. Yeah. What is their history? Do they know how to do this? Have they done this before? Yeah, that's what makes this incredibly exciting for us uh, to be able to uh, recruit two very proven nonprofit organizations. So both Master and Common have a long uh, history of serving students and families of need uh, at a really, really high level. So they have incredibly satisfied parents in many cities uh, here in the local area. This is a very difficult city. The poorest city in the country, mm -hmm. hard to believe that that is in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a high crime rate. This is a tough town. There's no question that the city has certainly grappled with poverty and crime. But what I can tell you, one of my biggest takeaways over the last 10 months is we have incredible students who can achieve at the highest levels. And we just got to give them that opportunity. Thank you so much for being with us. I really appreciate it.